Have you talked to anyone about the uh, what's going to be arriving on your desk? Not yet, Jeff. You may have it. You have the floor, sir. Get, this is this is stuff. Uh-oh. This is coming. Go for Breaking it, Jeff. News? Go right. for it. Breaking news. So for, this is. Yeah, I mean, this is just for fans of the Rich Eisen show. There's going to be a new uh, that that desk of riches. That august slab of wood or four mic. I I can't remember. Um, <laughs> plexiglass. He's, he's plexiglass. Have a too. new friend. Mm-hmm. A. Uh, uh, an actual mug, an actual self-heating mug from oh. Latte Larry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> wow. Oh, it yes. didn't get burned it down? Get burned down. Lord. It, it did get burned down, <laughs> huh? It didn't get burned a down. Few, <laughs> a few were spared. Um, and I know what everyone's asking. All of the Purell was burnt. <laughs> All of Purell is well, gone. Well, it was the accelerant. It was the accelerant, yeah. Jeff, right? It was yeah. an accelerant. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> but I got to say, Rich, I am so excited that you were so fond of the season that oh. in this dark, crazy time, yes. you had someone get a coffee cup that's been handled by countless strangers, <laughs> by Lord knows who, maybe Larry, maybe Leon, maybe just an extra from Reseda who has hep C, um, and you want to put it on your desk next to your face and your phone. You know, I'm, I'm honored. I am going to spray that down like it's the movie Silkwood, Jeff, so don't worry, man. We're going <laughs> to... It will be cleansed and disinfected by the time it hits this desk, but I had to have it. It is just such that that whole concept of a spite store. Where in the world did that come from, Jeff? Walk me through how you and Larry conceived of a spite store. So at the beginning of every season, we're trying to figure out what we want to do for an arc, and we're throwing around ideas. And Larry mentioned that there was a place, uh, not in Los Angeles, somewhere yes. else, I won't tell you where, that had treated him poorly <laughs> and it was a coffee place and he thought to himself god i wish i could just rent the place next door and drive them out of business like, <laughs> you know on the show you can you right <laughs> I mean. and thus that's how that was born where did where did you come up with the uh the table, the scone, the Purell, and of course the no defecating. Where, uh, uh, how, how did that all come about, Jeff? What well, we, we knew once we knew that we were going to do this fight store. Yes. We thought, oh, this is a great opportunity for us to, you know, have it being built throughout the season, and that gives Larry a chance to really put his good eye on how to improve a coffee store, <laughs> a coffee shop. You know, he's not an inventor; he's an improver. Yeah. So we started to talk about all the little things that bothered us about. About, you know, a store. And we just thought Larry in the service industry would have a lot of good input. But, you know, just to bring this full circle, I heard yes. you talking before yes. about the Sky Judge. Yes. You understand Larry is the world Sky Judge. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. He's the Sky Judge of planet Earth, Larry David. I love yeah, him. He's watching. He's watching. <laughs> Exactly about about whether somebody's doing the right thing with cell phone etiquette or doing the right thing in any sort of fact of life. You're right. Larry is the world sky judge, so it is working out. Or sometimes it is a little messy, though, Jeff. It really is. You know, it's, it's, I can't repeat on the show what Vince Vaughn said about uh, his version of making omelets. But, you know, sometimes if you... Sometimes a few big genitals got to knock over some stuff. <laughs> to, uh, well, we did. You know, s- we did get, see- get a store running. That's right, or or burn down, as we saw in the uh, in the end of your uh, end of your season long arc.